Hey guys, it's Adam coming from New Orleans Percussion Exotica. I want to bring you a sample of my first drum that I got from Gabe Tora. Uh, Gabe Tora is an artist who lives in San Francisco where he makes some awesome ceramic instruments. He makes a lot of drums among other things. And what we've got right here is a ceramic dumbak or darbuka or also a goblet drum. Because it's shaped like a goblet. Um, really a cool drum. Um, it's very small and it packs a lot of sound into, this, uh, uh, into a drum for this size. Really, really neat. Um, basically what this is right here is a, or a really nice glaze. It's a glass glaze. It's fired at uh, 2200 degrees. And the bottom is brown and red with this iron color behind it. And the top is green and blue. It's got this really intricate design on it that you can kind of see when it's in person. The uh, computer doesn't really do it justice. But uh, it's absolutely beautiful. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on it just from heading it out around town. And also, just uh, sitting in my apartment, it totally functional as a piece of art as well. Absolutely beautiful. On the top of it is a calfskin head. As you can see, it's slightly opaque because it's extremely thin, uh, meaning it's also very responsive. It has some really nice crisp highs complemented by some rich lows. And it does it's not actually too affected by the humidity down here. And I live in New Orleans, so it's, uh, it's pretty humid down here. Um, this drum actually came with an unexpected surprise, too. And messing around with it a little bit, I found out that it has some kind of Udu-like properties, Udu being a vessel drum, and it doesn't quite pick up on the computer microphone, but I hope you guys can hear it all the same. Really cool stuff. Um, I like hitting the drum like that. I enjoy it. Uh, some people enjoy playing around while I've been hitting the drum like that. Um, also, when you're playing the drum regularly or in a traditional way, you can stick your hand in the bell to modulate the pitch, which is kind of cool too. Also, you see that the drum has these really sharp edges to it. Um, and concerning the two different styles of Doombeck, there's one that has the sharp edges, which is this, which you can. Uh, promotes this type of snapping style of playing. Um, having had this drum for a week and never playing uh, a doom back before, I, I kind of enjoy doing it. It's a little bit more difficult for me to do, but... And you can hear, it is pretty loud. Um, just from striking the edge like that, really nice. I prefer to play it like this, a little bit more what I'm used to. As far as that tabla goes, you know, because it's flat, uh, so you can really do it however you like. Kind of get some cool stuff going on here. Really cool, um, like I said earlier, I haven't played a Doombeck up until a week ago. Uh, with minimal effort, this drum can coax out some really nice sounds, and I think that with a lot of effort, uh, you could you could really do something cool with this drum. Um, this drum is 100% unique. There are no other drums like this, and this drum will be coming to you um, pretty much uh, like all other drums. You can get this drum uh, in our gallery. In the shop, the New Orleans Percussion Exotica shop, which will be located inside the Pars Gallery, and you can expect more uh, from Gabe Toro at New Orleans Percussion Exotica. And you can also check out my Facebook page, New Orleans Percussion Exotica, to find any updates that we have. And I hope you guys like it, and I hope you enjoy seeing uh, as much of these drums as I do. And we'll see some more. Thanks a lot.